What's up you guys? Uh, today is the day. I'm gonna do a little catch, clean, and cook with you guys. Whew, trying to drop that. This is my new my new board. You know, it extends. But anyways, this is the setup we're gonna be using today. I need to clean it up. Got a little fish scales on it. But yeah, this is my Star Rock Plasma pair with my VR50. This is 20 pound Invisibrade. Uh, I have some 20 pound um, Zuri. Oh yes, you see all those greenies down there? That is what we're gonna be using for these uh, fish that we're about to catch today. So I got this sun hat on because it is beaming hot out here, but I'm gonna take it off once we get fishing. I'm gonna catch this bait, you guys, and we're gonna get started. I think I found some. Hopefully, do I got any? Oh man, oh man, it's lit up. Oh yeah, it's lit up. Time to get these fish, baby. Whoa! Don't want to put any water on them. I want them dead. Yes, sir. Got a whole bunch of chum and bait. You guys never fish with these things right here. It's magic. Oh, man. Oh, my God. How I hook these things, I usually just double hook them like this. And that usually just seems to work. So let's see what's going on down here. Nah, bring it out here. Bring it out there. Just let it drop all the way down. Drag set at a good, good setting right now. Fish biting on it. Trust me, you'll know when that snapper hit it. The line is just take off super fast. There we go. Oh, that was one. <laughs> oh man. When they hit it, they snatch it right off the reel. They just snatch line right out. Oh, there, there it goes. You seen that, right? There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Got him. Oh! Ah, I missed him. All right. Well, that's one way I show you uh, that the snapper are biting. You just leave it right there, open the bill, and they just take it. But yeah, as you guys seen it for yourself, I can't do that no more. I'm gonna miss a lot of fish doing that. Like if I just put the camera down and try to catch the fish while on YouTube, I can't do that. They're killing me right now, man. They're killing me. Time to go back to the other way, man. So hopefully my GoPro just don't die. Oh my God. Oh, that's a nice snapper. Oh my God, that's a nice snapper. Woo. That is a nice snapper, man. That's dinner. Yeah, see, 11, 11 and a half. All the way to the top. Nice snapper. Mm -hmm. Dinner, baby. Oh, man. You have to cast out just under the pilings? Yeah, just drop it straight down right here. My sister at Christmas gave me a spear. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, my God. spit out the bait. It's a keeper too. That's another keeper. Man, this is a good day. Come on, baby. We get a couple more. We out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, um, when it moves slow like that, that's the uh. uh yes, sir. I don't know. I don't know if he's 10 inches, but I can't tell you if this guy right here is 10 inches, but he he might make it. I don't know. So let's see. Oh, I think he made it, right? Uh, What's the line for him? 10, 10 inches. Oh, yeah, he made it. Look, yeah. look you guys. 10 yeah. inches. He, he's over. Yeah, you're good. We want you guys to see that. 10 inches. Face is all the way up. 10 inches. Mm -hmm. He's going home. Man, these snappers are biting really good, you guys. They're biting really good. Can't complain, can't complain. Come on, we all let. Slow it up. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> oh my God. I guess that's just a passion. When you do something, 
not because you have to it's because you want to that's what keeps me going every day fishing it's a peace of mind and if fishing is not a peace of mind to you guys something is really wrong with you because this thing is it's just so relaxing being out here on the water just no drama no people just just interrupting your life you could just be you and catch dinner at the same time come on let's go let's go let's go big snapper big snapper big snapper uh oh oh dink yeah it's not even worth the scale i just need two more snapper baby come on let's come take a trip to the Saleya house Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pinfish. Pinfish are on me. Water is like killing me right now. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Told y'all, man. If you want to come to the Slayer house, that's all he had to say. That's all he had to say. Put him on the scale. Dang. Ooh. Woo. Good lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Put him there. He's past the 10 inch mark. I know you guys see that. Face is all the way up. Man, he trying to bite my freaking fingers off. Hey, we got him. Whew. Come on. Bigger, bigger greeny. Bigger snapper. Let's go to the last one. Treat me right. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. You see how fast that was? Golly, I wasn't ready for that. That was definitely a snapper bite though. Yeah. What I just lost. Cause it's like tap tap and wham. Oh man, he caught me off guard with that one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Oh, for the last one! He's probably like 14. Yeah! Oh my gosh, yes, man. Don't get no better than that, baby. I don't even have to play him on a scale. But yes, that's my five, that's my limit. So, I'm out. All right, you guys, the limit is five a day. I caught these right here and I haven't even been fishing, not even 30 minutes. Got my limit today. Time to go home, clean them up. All right. So one snapper I caught, like 14. 14 inches. This is how I'm cleaning today. Let's go behind this, this fan. Just cut like that. Just try not to cut your finger. Flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Try not to cut your fingers. I usually will go down the back one like this. But it's not a real big fish to do that. I usually a cut right through this, but just try not to cut your fingers off when you do this. Turn them that way. All right, so after that's done, I you just go like right on top of this spine right here. Then you just press down and just drag your knife all the way down like this. Keep your hand, your fingers up so you don't cut your fingers. Fingers and thumbs up. And then boom. Nice. Nice fillets. Don't get no better than that. Because usually I'll just fillet like that. But with these fish, you don't get enough enough meat you lose a lot of meat like that go like that fingers up
then boom. Just like that. You see straight through, nicely. But yeah, that's it, really. Then what I do is go like that. I use this go right around the rib cage. Take the knife in, drag all that down just like that. Cut the rib cage clean out. Just like that. Then just put your thumb right here. Just drag the knife. Just clean down, slippery. And boom. Yep, but after you do that, then you have to wash it off and everything, but yeah, you have a nice snapper filet. No bones, straight meat. This is what they all look like, all cleaned up. Yes, sir. Don't get no better than that. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do this catch, clean, and cook today because my granddad is leaving. And he's probably going to lock up the house. And I'm probably going to let him take these fish with him to my uncle's house so they can enjoy them. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit subscribe. Go like and comment on the video, please, and follow my Instagram and everything that you guys are doing so far. It's very much appreciated. Thank you guys, and stay tuned for the next video.